Hello and welcome back to Flipped Psychology. I'm Miss Lee and this is the final video in Unit 3. This is Section 5, Perception and Illusions. Our objectives for this video are to explain Gestalt's principles of perception and to explain how experiences and expectations influence perception. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and grab your notes and let's get started. Okay, so let's talk about the different ways that we perceive different things in our environment. First of all, our brains love certain things. Our brains do not like, however, things that don't make sense, things that are not complete, things that look weird, things that look unusual, things that we are not expecting. And so very often our brains will try to make sense out of something in a different way. So the first Gestalt law of sensory perception that we talk about is closure. Now you can look at this one of two ways. You can either see the images in front of you as a circle and a slightly squarish rectangle, or you could see them as series of lines kind of configured in a specific way. We tend to see them as the geometric shapes rather than just random lines. Why? Because our brains don't like randomness. Our brains try to put things together to make them make sense. So closure is the tendency to perceive a complete or whole figure even when there are gaps in what your senses tell you. So your senses are telling you that there are incomplete lines, but your experience tells you that looking at these items, you're probably looking at a circle and a slightly squarish rectangle. Closure suggests that we perceive a complete circle and rectangle rather than a series of segments or broken lines. The next Gestalt law is figure ground perception. And this is the perception of a figure against a background. So you can see one of two things in this picture. You can either see something like a goblet. If you are focusing on the white portion of the picture, you see a goblet or like a some type of a cup or a vase. If you are focusing more on the outside of the figure, the background, if you will, the black part of the picture, you might see two figures. I've heard that they look like Batman looking at each other. I kind of see that. The concept of figure ground relationship explains why this image can either be perceived as a vase or a goblet or a pair of faces, Batman faces. The next Gestalt law is proximity. This is the tendency to group together visual and and auditory events that are near each other. So when you think about auditory events, you don't hear music usually as individual instruments playing. You can usually pick them out, but usually the way that they come together is what we are hearing. We're hearing it as music, not just random sounds. The Gestalt principle of proximity suggests in this picture that you either see a block of dots on the left or three columns on the right. Even though they're the same amount of dots, the way that they are arranged or their closeness, their proximity to each other is going to influence how we see the dots. The next Gestalt law of sensory perception is similarity. So we think of similar objects as belonging together. So think about when you're watching a game on TV or you are in a stadium, members of the same sports team we put together very easily because they look alike. Their jerseys are the same, their pants are the same, their helmets are the same if you're looking at a football game. So this is the law of similarity. When we look at this array of dots, we likely perceive the alternating rows of colors rather than just a big square of dots. We're grouping these dots according to the principle of similarity. The next Gestalt law is continuity. This is the tendency to group stimuli into continuous patterns. So this to me doesn't just look like a bunch of random dots. Good continuation suggests that we're more likely to perceive this as two overlapping lines rather than four lines meeting in the center. So you kind of see one or the the other overlapping than four lines coming together in the center or just a bunch of random dots. So to kind of sum up these laws of sensory perception, Gestalt principles such as figure ground, grouping by proximity or similarity, the law of good continuation and closure are all used to help explain how we organize the sensory information that we are being bombarded with every day. Our perceptions are not infallible and they can be influenced by bias, 
prejudice, and other factors like our expectations and our experiences from the past. If you have any questions or aren't sure of the concepts, I encourage you to go back and rewatch the video. Our next unit will be on development. I can't wait to see you then. Bye for now.